Hey Rasmus, how you doing man? Um, this is, again, this is really good stuff. Uh, don't worry if you didn't have uh, a lot of time to develop these properly. Uh, I can see where you were going and this is more than enough to uh, give you a proper review. Now, I think that if I have to generalize, what I would uh, tell you is that you probably um, I focus me too much uh, into details, um, and this is about uh, general lighting. What I would like you to do on the, the next um, on the next weeks would be to try to simplify all these. Not don't try to focus that much on you know doing complicated um, shapes and stuff. Well, I know it's it's your style. I I really like it, but for example, there are so many different details and colors and things on these that we we lose the main goal of this illustration which is these two people here uh, contemplating the landscape we it's even difficult to see that there's uh, dinner shells and stuff and mainly I would say this is due to a uh, value problem like uh, let me give you a quick example we change everything to the same color here. You see how everything get gets a bit too mixed here. We need to focus the attention at some point. Even the characters here, there, they we we lose them a bit. Okay, so you need to guide the sight of the viewer until you focus their sight wherever uh, you want and values. Um, are your allies on this war to say it that way? Okay. Now, let's see. Let's start with the first one. We could say here we have the sun coming out on this side. First thing I would do, I would just try to create more light. Okay. Second thing, try to cast more light over the main characters here. Even if sometimes it doesn't match logic that much, it, it's it's better if it matches uh, logic and it makes sense, obviously. But you need to you know fake a bit the light sometimes. Okay, now. Let's create a bit more of that. For these, I'm going to create a new layer, lower the opacity, and we need to create more of that here. Okay, for these, basically, what I'm doing again, you'll see that all the time what I'm doing is, is just playing with, with values and contrast. Basically, creating more depth by lowering the contrast here on this area. And I will continue doing these here. Um, the problem here is that um, I have to do something in this area, it's too confusing. So I'm gonna use multiply to give a bit more of a um, range of lower values to all these area but again uh, the background still looks too dark Maybe if you want, you can play a bit with the red lights uh, of the car. You know, some stuff like this. Just trying to create light effects. OK, 
okay but you see what I mean I'm just trying to change the whole light of the scene and, and fixing the contrast a bit more of light wouldn't be a bad thing so that's what I mean exactly just changing contrast generally you see these way uh, you have the sun up here in the sky but it doesn't seem to be affecting the colors they if you pick them they are all pretty much desaturated very neutral how's that possible if you have the sun up here so the only answer is that you need to saturate and obviously you're gonna have to use warm light here. Again, I'm using overlay because it's quick, but you can do these by not using effects. Okay, you see you need more green. And remember to reflect the colors of the sky into the water. Again, here also a bit more green bright colors will will get the attention of the viewer and also again depth okay, it might be a, a bit too much but that would be the idea now this one looks better but still, um, combinations of colors um, are a bit too, uh, like, there's no, no protagonist here. We don't know if the protagonist is the blue sky or the green grass or the blue reflection of the sky on the water. We need to decide something, or the brown of the soil. And also here, again, we are going to need more contrast. Something that I also do a lot is to use a um, um, not very obvious effect of fog to separate different terms. Sometimes I do stuff like this and then I just lower down the opacity. I just erase <coughs> just erase the parts that I want to focus attention. You see? Just like this. And then I can always change the hue, saturation of this layer. It's a trick that I use very, very often. It, it usually works very well. So it's only a lower opacity layer with a flat color used as a gradient. It, it really makes it job. Now here the problem is that um, it doesn't seem like you change the light, but it doesn't seem that um, you change the season of the illustration. Here we still have green for the leaves, but the grass is not green anymore. Uh, but the sky is still blue and also the reflection on the water. Uh, I think that's something that, that we should probably should probably um, study a bit more and, and find out why that happened. But definitely we would have to change things here.
if the sun is really hidden uh, behind the mountains and is affecting only these um, only these mountain here on the side probably the quicker thing you could do would be to use multiply pretty much everywhere obviously this is way too dark but It looks too dark. Yeah, I think you you have to work on on the color of it and directly change the color again of all these part of the background until you get something more similar to these. It's a bit strange that you see it's so green. Well, obviously, here is a bit it's a bit too much. But we have this green grass here and here. All of a sudden, everything is brown. And looks dead I think the idea of this one is that um, you see less contrast everything looks more blue and combination with these um, pink colors and reds so you have to use the complementary thing that when you have um, a color for lights usually you have the opposite one for the shading so that says that we should have to use blue for shading here and again if you want to give it a touch um, you can use the red for the back of the car also same problem here we see everything looks brown and, and too dead and Another thing is that the contrast in the mountain is way too high. It's really too much. Okay, and also you see how there's all these conflicts between the contrast of uh, the branches of the trees and the dinosaurs. We, we get everything lost because you use different colors but not different contrast. So you should probably work a bit more on it. Again, trying to unify the landscape, I would use more reds. But you have to achieve. Um, to get um, to bring back the green grass to say that way and finally I think um, the night is probably working better than the rest one uh, but personally I will do something as simple as this Okay, maybe adding uh, adding a few stars and stuff. And once you have these, you can do the same with the reflection in the river. And you can do something like this. That's why it would be probably better to place the moon here so you could do this here. But still. Oh shit, I did it in the same way. Well, anyway. Okay, hopefully you get the idea easily. So this will give you um, something to play around with contrast. 
Okay. So lots of things this week, Rasmus. Anyway, I think it, it's a complicated exercise, and uh, you need something very detailed, which always takes more time. So I appreciate that you take the time to do this exercise. Uh, remember, we change the Q&A for next Friday, and hope to see you there. Have a good week. Bye.